in a world where trombone players and musicians want to know the answers to burning questions, top trombone players, even me, are here with Paul the Trombonist now to answer your burning questions. Another thing I did a lot of, uh, I was on Lionel Hampton's band for many years, and in, in Lionel's band there would be big chunks of time, like it, just as it is for every trombone player in the world, you're forever sitting in a big band, right, listening to other people solo. Uh-huh. Um, so I spent a lot of time working on seeing if I could play right in front, like just patting my leg right on top of the beat, just a little bit behind the beat, right in front of the beat. Um, the other thing I worked on, and uh, this, this is really useful, was learning to feel things in big groups. So uh, I, when I was talking, I talked to Steve Turay one time, very, when I was in college, about playing fast. And um, he noticed that I was like patting my foot on all, like that. Like many young players. Yes, like many young players do. And he said, man, you know, you're, you're working too hard. When you're, when you're feeling a fast tempo, you don't have to think of it like that. Think of it like a samba. One, three, one, mm. three. Instead of one, mm. uh, one, three, one, three, one, three. So I started feeling things like this. And then I began to realize I actually don't have to feel one and three. I can just go one. one. <laughs> and then you're real relaxed. One, exactly. So you start... <laughs> like that. Just mm. boom, boom. Body's really relaxed, and then I can start thinking of it as boom, boom, mm. boom, and then boom, boom. Nice. Boom. Um, the really great jazz players, Herbie Hancock, guys like that, right. um, they can feel things in big groups, groups of eight bars. Wow. That sort of thing. So uh, as you're developing as a jazz musician, don't neglect time. Rhythm. This is rhythmic music. That's what it comes from. It comes from the drums. Yeah. Um, trombone. Approach, it, approach the trombone like a drum. Uh, what would a drummer be doing uh, on his solo? He'd be looking for ways to play in front of the time, behind the time, looking for ways to split up the time into thirds. One other quick thing that I used to yes. do uh, was learning how to... Um, here's... Right? Here's a tempo. What I wanted to learn how to do, because uh, I heard blues players doing this and I heard great ballad players doing it, was learning how to decouple what I'm hearing, improvising-wise, from the tempo. So here's the tempo, and I learned how to play. See, I'm, I'm, what I'm singing is completely separate from the tempo. Tempo stays the same. Mm. That's um, so I'm trying to develop an advanced rhythmic conception so that I can play outside of the tempo, but we be aware of where the harmony is. Uh, and then the other thing I did a lot of was learning how to play um, triplets. So, and, and to switch from it feeling like triplets to feeling like I'm just playing in a different time. So if it's... See what I'm doing there? Mm, yeah, so you're kind of thinking like a drummer. Exactly. Because uh, you're isolating different parts of your body and being yes. in different kind of feels. That's right. So uh, uh, at, at one, in one sense, I'm aware of what the tempo is, mm -hmm. and I know where it is and keep track of it. But then I'm playing, I'm, I'm playing polyrhythmically on top mm -hmm. of that. So combining that stuff with the harmonic stuff that I learned how to do, it at least I hope, what it does is it creates, it, it creates a very modern-sounding jazz trombone voice. Um, I got. I was tired in the in the early '90s when I was coming up. I felt like I just never heard anybody who really was mastering modern jazz techniques. I heard a lot of guys who you know could play the instrument beautifully, but I didn't hear many. Steve Trey was an, an exception. With the stuff with Woody, especially. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. And so, and, I, and he was really the only guy that I could find. Conrad Irwin came along, yeah. right, you know, after him, who's another one. And who, then Hal Crook. Hal Crook. Hal Crook <laughs> is just amazing. 
Unbelievable. Did you study with him at all? I didn't. He was, uh, you know, he, he actually wasn't. He was out here him. then. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Okay. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So, about, you know, he, he wasn't putting out records in those days. He did, finally. And I remember getting his, his first solo record and just being like, Man. With the Joe DiOrio? Yeah, is that it? The one? When they do standards? Yes, where they did standards. It's amazing. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Um, now, with YouTube and all that, that you can you have access to a lot more guys. But um, in my day, it was very hard to find people who were doing that stuff. So I worked really hard to learn how to do it. Yeah, and it seems like nowadays um, the trombone's getting more harmonically That's catching right. up to the times. Yeah, there are a lot of guys now. Mm -hmm. Elliot, Elliot Mason yeah. and Marshall Jilks is another mm -hmm. one. Alan Ferber plays great stuff. Yeah. You know, a lot of guys. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. The main point I would want to make uh, not to be repetitive, is you're a musician first. You're, uh, the trombone is an amplifier for music, for the music that you create. Um, you can tell by all the things that I've talked about that my main focus has been training from here back, mm. getting to where I, I, I could hear things and um, could create things, could play creatively and expressively at very high levels in different styles. Mm. Um, part of that was introducing it to the instrument. Part of that is just chop maintenance and that sort of stuff. But I try to approach everything I do, even exercises on the trombone, like music, so that I'm never playing anything that is not music. Nice. What up, my dear friends of the world? Paul the Trombonist here. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for always staying tuned where every video is a musical adventure. Welcome to the Trombone family. Thanks to my patrons for helping making these videos possible. You're all the best. Welcome to the Trombone family, where dreams come true. I post different things on every social network, so you gotta follow me on all of them to get the whole experience. Everything's at paulthetrombonist.com, paulthetrombonist.com, paulthetrombonist.com. Paul